Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News for July 14th, 2014, Amo Domini. In Nebraska, in a small town, 4th of July parade, someone had a float showing an outhouse and the zombie like Obama standing there in front of an outhouse, essentially. The Department of Justice, in true tyrannical form, is sending somebody down there to find out what exactly happened there. Apparently, Eric Holder has never read the First Amendment. Well, this is typical of a tyrant, and Obama is at least a small-time tyrant. I don't think that you have anything, uh, any reason to criticize Obama no matter how bad things get. The Nebraska Democratic Party called it one of the worst examples of racism and disrespect for the office of the president uh, Nebraska has ever seen. Nobody's bothered asking them where's racism and showing a little disrespect to the office of the president. In other words, they're just using Obama's race as an excuse to say this. Alright. In the Middle East conflict, four Israeli soldiers have been slightly wounded going into Gaza on the ground. Uh, 52 Palestinians are dead. says that these are special forces operatives and not regular ground troops and basically both sides the UN wants both sides to agree to a ceasefire both sides have told the UN go fly a kite we want to fight so Hamas is going to continue to send rockets into Israel, and Israel is going to continue to pound the living tar out of them. Go figure. Typical. Typical Middle East stuff. Nothing to really worry about. In the meantime, John Kerry has been told to butt out of the Middle East conflict. Both Hamas and Israel have said this guy is a joker. He doesn't have the ability. He doesn't have the credibility. So, but out of our business and let us fight. Not that I can really blame them. In Cuba on Sunday, you're arrested about 100 female protesters known collectively as ladies in white. These protesters have been around since 2003 and generally they protest every Sunday but I guess this protest got a little too big and a little too boisterous for the Cuban government and they didn't like it so they busted them. preview of where we're headed, folks.
in New York City over Long Island, the Raelians are kind of a E.T. religious type group, flew a plane trailing one of those banners that had a swastika, Star of David, uh, a pro swastika message and a peace sign that was trailing and beachgoers complained because they didn't want to see the swastika anywhere. Some of them said there's no way to rehabilitate this particular symbol. Officials feel the complaints which aren't going to go anywhere because it's called freedom of speech. Nonetheless, people are all in a lather over this. Why look at it if, you're, if it offends you, turn away from it. It's not like they put it in your face. Oh well, how else are things? In France, protesters are going at it with the uh, police over the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Clashes erupted Sunday in Paris as Palestinian immigrants, among others, protested Israel's bombing and invasion of Gaza Strip. Of course, they didn't protest the fact that Hamas was firing rockets into Israel and trying to kill their citizens. Fortunately, Aaron Dome stopped the rockets for the most part. The grand total of uh, the dead in this conflict is 168 Palestinians this time and zero Israelis. So that fight's going to be going on and on, obviously. Next story, please. Bank of International Settlements has warned that the world is in more danger from another financial collapse than it was in 2007. Citing that we have conditions that are similar, but our debt crisis worldwide is much deeper. Jamie Carolina is the head of the Watchdog Group, and it says that Basically, things could get worse and probably will. So that people are doing the same things they were doing back then. Which history tends to repeat itself when you don't learn. Well, well, next story, please. And now for our invasion news. The government is seeking, Obama is seeking the help of the governments in resettling the illegals from the Latin American countries that are flooding in here, seeking the government's support. We reported yesterday that the Nebraska governor is perplexed by, perplexed and angered by the fact that they moved 200 kids into a state in secrecy and he's wondering why. So getting cooperation of governors might not be all that easy. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Unfortunately, Obama and Holder are not good at back scratching. Eric Holder, the corrupt Attorney General of the United States has said that there's a racial animus towards he and Obama from their political opponents. So, 
According to Eric Holder, we're supposed to not criticize Obama because he's black and therefore beyond criticism. Uh, this is nothing new, people. This guy does this a lot, so I'm not going to spend much time on this story. <laughs> Meanwhile, how, how otherwise are things? Well, going newsmax.com. Our jails are being used for insane asylums, essentially. And they're being overwhelmed with inmates. Where both both crooks and the insane are going into our jails. I don't know whatever happened to the concept of the sanitarium, but unfortunately it seems to be the way it is. So we don't know what's going on with that, other than it does not sound like good things. In Los Angeles, during a pro-Israel rally for pa Palestinian demonstrators attacked some of the uh, pro-Israeli people with sticks and then attempted to drive off in a pickup truck. Department of Health and Human... a DHS. Department of Homeland Security officer opened fire on the pickup truck. Missing all four of the uh, Palestinians or wherever they were. And the police aren't sure why this DHS person opened fire on the pickup truck. Neither am I. It's otherwise known as attempted murder. And now for our Dilgaff section. In Queensbury, New York, which is about 60 miles from Albany, a load of rot rotting meat was found strewn all over a highway and it closed the highway until it could be cleaned up. It's believed that it was beef. They don't know for sure. Who, in this day and age, with the hyper-expensive prices on meat and other groceries would waste that much meat. It goes beyond belief. Not a crisis, obviously, just a mystery. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and remember, your country is being invaded from the south. And you have to do something about it. You are living in a soft tyranny, and we have to do something about it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.